Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Joined this time in Albuquerque, New Mexico, by Peter, the master of hoppets. So, when I told Peter um, when he got to Albuquerque, I'm like, buy this beer because we should review it. And we're going to be looking at Deschutes' Black Butte Porter. Um, I'm finally getting around to reviewing this. I've, I've had this beer uh, many times before. and First time I'm having it. Yeah, so... <laughs> I figured, hey, let's do a Deschutes beer because I don't do enough Deschutes beers, and Peter can get Deschutes in, in Albuquerque. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing open. And I'm using the only glass I have for beer at the moment. Yeah, that's that's decent. Um, try yeah. to try to find a dollar store or something where you can find it. This was bought. At, this was bought at a dollar store. Oh, okay. Family Dollar, I think it's called. Yeah, I got a really nice head on mine. Mine is, mine, yeah, it's pretty solid, but it's more bubbly than mine. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You probably can't. Yeah. It's, um, it's really dark, but it's not pitch black. It, I, yeah, I get some, like, there's this funny little wedge down here in my glass. I get some, like, brown reddish notes. Yeah, I get, like, a mahogany, decent amount of carbonation. Um, pulled away from the light. It's a real dark brown. Kind of a really light tan head on there yeah we oh yeah the head what do you say the color of the head is beige kind of yeah let's take out the aroma oh uh, chocolate for sure yeah some roast, roast in there yeah but the roast isn't like as intense as i'd imagine yeah the the roast is kind of like uh a back seat so maybe they're kind of going a little more you know some porters can go overly roasty i think for the style yeah. i i think so too uh i also get like a raisiny Kind of quality. Yeah, some... A little bit dark fruit, a little bit of coffee. Yeah, I, I get a lot of like caramel on mine too. Yeah, dark caramel kind of notes. Maybe a little bit of an earthy hop note on, on mine. My, my, my beer is pretty fresh. It smells good though. Uh, yeah, you know, it smells like a good porter for sure. Yeah, like, English awesome. style porter for sure. So. Yeah, let's begin. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I'm thinking like pub style English border right away from that first sip. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, I like this one. Um, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna take. I mean, my favorite favorite is still like English style London's or Fuller's London Porter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, still, just, that's, that's my all time favorite English style porter too. It's like the picture of a English porter. I get a little bit of like a hot bitterness up front. Like just yeah, a touch a that makes it a little different than um, the traditional, the traditional British. Ones. Yeah, I agree, uh, but it's not that intense. Um, I'd say like the mouthfeel is like a medium kind of mouth uh, mouthfeel, mouth body, dry mouthfeel. Yeah, after that initial little bitterness, I think it is pretty smooth and creamy. Um, yeah, it's just the initial bitterness gives you like a dry coating, and then it's very smooth. But the flavor is in there. I'd say first some roasty notes. Get a little bit of a like, an almost charred kind of flavor in the aftertaste. And then again, the chocolates. Yeah, I think there's probably some black patent malt in there to kind of give it that really uh, kind of roasty, charry character on the back end. But midway through, you, you get some of those, some of those like fruity esters probably come from the yeah. yeast. Maybe some of the darker crystal malts. That's yeah. sort of almost raisiny, but not really yeah. specific raisin. Yeah, generic dark fruit kind of flavor yeah for sure and then a little bit of coffee in there too yeah a little caramel and then it, right before that that ro big kind of bitter roasty finish well it's not too bitter i should say it, no. it's definitely um it's really sessionable actually yeah right before that's when that really chocolate malt for me just comes out big time and then it <clears throat> kind of has the typical sort of portery um kind of burnt yeah burnt the end. yeah yeah i agree it's a, it's a pretty good straightforward porter, but right? it's not gonna. I mean, nothing really wrong with it, but there's nothing that makes it that makes me think like, wow, this is fucking amazing. But it's like for as a session beer, this is really really good. Yeah, I can session a six pack of this. Yeah, that's exactly what I think about this one. Just um, yeah, I, I want some dark beer tonight, and uh, you you know, five point two percent, you can drink a lot of it. Yeah, and you know, it's it, it's just right there. Just for me, one of the best uh, American kind of traditional porters. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for Deschutes Blackbeard Porter. 
I'm glad to finally get to this one. And special thanks to Peter for joining me. Just made partner on YouTube. Check out his channel, The Master of Hoppets. And he's now in Albuquerque for the next uh, five or so months. Yeah. So hopefully we'll find some common beers, you know, some we will. West, West Coast kind of stuff. Maybe we'll do some, uh, you know, like we can do like some stone beers, do some more Deschutes beers. Anyway, I really like this porter for uh, West Coast traditional style one. So thanks, Peter, for joining me. And comment, subscribe, and cheers. Cheers. <laughs>